In a quaint village nestled amidst lush green fields, there lived a young boy named Kai. He was known for his adventurous spirit and curiosity, but there was one thing that held him back, fear. Every time Kai faced a new challenge or a daunting task, fear would grip his heart, causing him to hesitate and doubt himself. He longed to be brave like the old warriors, but he didn't know how to overcome his fears. One day, Kai heard rumors about an ancient Zen philosopher who lived on top of a nearby mountain. It was said that the philosopher held the secret to facing fear with unwavering courage. Filled with hope, Kai decided to seek the philosopher's wisdom. The journey to the mountain was treacherous, with steep paths and wild beasts lurking in the shadows. Fear gnawed at Kai's heart as he climbed higher and higher, but he pressed on, determined to find the answers he sought. Finally, after days of perseverance, Kai reached the peak of the mountain, where a serene old man with wise eyes and a warm smile awaited him. This was Master Wu, the legendary Zen philosopher. Greetings, young one, Master Wu said, his voice calm and soothing. I sense fear within you. Sit with me, and let us explore its nature. Kai sat beside Master Wu, and the philosopher began to speak. Fear is like the wind that blows through the trees, he said. It is natural and ever-changing. But like the trees that stand tall and rooted, you too can face fear with strength. Perplexed, Kai asked, but how can I do that, Master Wu? Fear feels so overwhelming. Master Wu smiled kindly. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, he said. Inhale the present moment, and exhale your worries and fears. As Kai followed Master Wu's guidance, he felt a sense of calm wash over him. Master Wu continued, fear often arises from the unknown, from worries about what might happen. But if you focus on the present, on what is real and tangible, fear loses its hold. Kai pondered Master Wu's words. So, if I stay in the present and face my fears head on, they won't control me. Exactly, replied Master Wu. Fear loses its power when you confront it with clarity and awareness. Remember, it is okay to feel fear, but do not let it paralyze you. Embrace it, acknowledge it, and then take a step forward despite its presence. With newfound understanding, Kai thanked Master Wu for his wisdom and bid him farewell. As he descended the mountain, he faced moments of fear and uncertainty, but now he knew what to do. When Kai returned to the village, he faced challenges with a newfound courage. Each time fear crept in, he would take a deep breath and ground himself in the present moment. With each step, his fear diminished, and his confidence grew. Kai's transformation inspired the villagers, and they marveled at the mind-blowing simplicity of the ancient Zen philosophy. They realized that facing fear wasn't about grand gestures or extraordinary feats, but about being present, aware, and brave in the face of uncertainty. From that day on, Kai became known as the Fearless Wanderer, and his story spread to neighboring villages. The ancient Zen philosophy became a guiding light for many, empowering them to face fear with courage and grace. And so, the mind-blowing ancient Zen philosophy of facing fear became a timeless lesson, reminding all who heard it that within the simplicity of the present moment lay the strength to conquer fear, and embrace life's adventures with open hearts and unwavering bravery. Once again, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation for being a part of this incredible community. Your presence has made this journey worthwhile, and I'm excited to embark on new adventures together. Thank you, and please remember to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay connected.